Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program to check whether the given number is an Armstrong number or not. Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. Before the practical demonstration, you need to first understand what is an Armstrong number. A number that is equal to the sum of its own digits raise it to the power of the number of digits. Let me explain what does it mean. For example, if you take 153, how does 153 can become an Armstrong number? How to check that? Let me show you. The original number is what? 153. In 153, how many digits are there? Three digits. Okay. Now, you have to take one of the digits, let's say 3 here, 3 power, 3 power, the number of digits is 3, 3 power 3. Okay, to this 3 power 3, you have to add the second digit that is 5, that is second digit is 5, 5 power, the number of digits, how many total digits are there? 3, 5 power 3, plus, and the what is the final digit we have in the beginning? 1, 1 power, the number of digits, that is 3. So if you calculate this, 1 power 3 means what? 1 into 1 into 1, 1 into 1 into 1, that becomes 1 1 is a 1, 1 1 is a 1, 1. Now 5 power 3 means 5 multiplied by 5 itself 3 times. 5 5 is a 25, 25 5 is a 125. 3 power 3 means 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. If you calculate the total 126 plus 20 let's say. Okay, 126 that is uh, 126 plus 20 is 120. 146, 146 plus 7, what is 146 plus 7? That is 153. This so total is equal to 1, 153. Okay. So one fifth original number is 153. And when you do the calculation like 1 power 1 into 1 into 1, number of digits is 3. So you have to divide every digit of the number with 3 times. Okay. You have to multiply the every digit with 3 times. 5 into 5 power 3 means 5 into 5 into 3. 5 into 5 into 5, 3 times. Then 3, 3 into 3 into 3. Okay. So the result is 153. The original number 153, if it is equal to this result of this kind of operation, then this kind of numbers can be said as, they can be called as Armstrong numbers, guys. So the, the that is what is Armstrong number. A number that is equal to the sum of its own digits after raising them to the power of the number of digits is an Armstrong number, 153, as I showed you, right? That's an Armstrong number. How to write a Java program to find out or check whether the given number is an Armstrong number or not. For that, I'll switch to Eclipse ID. Here, I'm going to create a new class. Here, I'm going to create a new class. I'll just name this class with some random name. Let's say class 21, class 21, and I'll create the main method. Now, in the main method, I'll collect the input from the user. So user has to give some input number and I have to check whether that particular number is an Armstrong number or not. That's what I would like to write the code for. So here I'll write scanner, scanner is equal to new, scanner, scanner, scanner is equal to new, scanner. And here I'll write system.in, system.in, system.in. I'll simply say control shift O and write down scanner, uh, system.out.println, system.out.println, enter any number okay enter any number for the user during the while the program is running the user by looking at this print statement will enter a number that number will like to capture here into scanner dot next int okay this next int method of the scanner will capture that particular number given as input by the user will store that number into num okay let's say now i want to find out whether this particular number is an armstrong number or not for that i'll create one more method guys public uh, static uh, method I'll create so that I can call that and find out whether that particular uh, number is Armstrong number or not. Is Armstrong is a method name is Armstrong and here I have to get some value like uh, whatever the parameter that is for example here I say n okay int n this number is, is given to n okay so now here I'll write something like this int original original number is equal to int original number is equal to 
this n. Okay, whatever the original number we got, right? That has been in inputted by the user, right? That I'll get it here and I'll assign to the original number. Now, first task I will do is how many digits are there in this origin in this particular number that is passed to this method while calling. I have to call this method here, guys. Okay, I'll call this method. If if method like this, I'll write the logic. In this if condition, I'll call this method and I'll pass this number here. I'll pass this number like this. Okay. Whatever the number that is received from the user, I'm passing as an argument to this parameter of this particular method. Okay. And here this return type should be a Boolean type. Okay. If this is an Armstrong number, if this logic decides that this particular number is an Armstrong number, it will return true. For now, I'll write some return true so that we'll not get any error here so far. So later I'll change this. So in original number, whatever the number that is received, right? If that is an Armstrong number means this method is going to return true here and I'm going to print out system dot out print uh, given number, given number is an Armstrong number. Okay. Else I'll print it out. System dot out dot print given number, given number is not an is not an Armstrong number. Okay. Otherwise, Armstrong number, not an Armstrong number, simple, straightforward. I'll print. Okay. It's not an Armstrong number or Armstrong number will be printed here. Fine. Looks good so far. But the actual logic we have to write here. Let me close the scanner object so that the task will be done in the main method. So here I'm going to write the logic. First, I have to find how many digits are there in this original number. How to find out how many digits are there? I'll write down while this original number, okay, original number, when I try to divide this original number, if that original number is not equal to zero, let's say, if the original number is not equal to zero, then I have to go to the while loop and iterate the while loop. And inside that, I'll find how many digits are there by writing down original number divided by 10. If I try to divide a number by 10, if I try to divide by a number by 10, I'll get an original number, right? Okay. So here, if the original number is not equal to zero, I'll write down something like int uh, digits or D. Okay. D I'll say. Int D is equal to zero, I'll say for now. And here I'll say D plus plus. If the original number is not equal to zero, I'll increment the value of D, D plus plus. Here original number is equal to original number divided by, original number is equal to original number divided by 10. Now what happens? The next iteration, the value of D will be incremented to one. And in the next iteration, original number divided by 10. In the next, uh, what will happen if you try to divide a number by 10? For example, if you have given this example like, uh, 153 if you have given, let's say 153 is given passed here. So 153 will go into the original number. 153 is not equal to zero. We'll go inside the while loop. And here D plus plus will happen. D will become one now. After D becomes one, original number is equal to original number that is 153 divided by 10. So when you divide a number 153 by 10, okay, if the original number is 153, if you try to divide this 153 by 10, the result will be 15 guys, okay? 10 into 15, 15 times you can divide. So 15 will be assigned to the original number. Now 15 will be assigned to the original number. Here 15 is not equal to zero. Here we'll go inside the while loop and D plus plus D will become two now. And here the original number is now 15, 15 divided by 10. How many times you can divide the 15? Only one time, right? By 10, 10 was the 10, reminder will be five. So only one time, one will go into original number. One is not equal to zero. Again, we'll go inside the while loop and here D plus plus will happen, D will become three. And original number is what now? One, one divided by 10. How many times you can divide the number one by 10? Zero times, 10 zeros are zero and uh, you cannot divide basically. So zero times, so zero is not equal to zero be will become false. And here we'll come out of the while loop. And uh, the moment we come out of the while loop, we'll get the number of digits here, guys. The number of digits will be three here, okay? So here D means digits. How many digits are there in the original number? We found it out. After finding the number of uh, digits, here curly brace is stopped. Okay. Yeah. After finding how many digits are there, let's say three digits. Let's say now after finding the number of digits here, we have to find out uh, whether the entire number is a Armstrong number or not. How to find out every digit we have to 
for every digit we have to for uh, every digit we have to add for example if they have given 153 in 153 we have to add 1 plus 5 plus 3 but not directly but we have to 1 power 3 because number of digits are 3 right so 1 power 3 5 power 3 1 power digits 1 power d 5 power d 3 power d like this we have to calculate this sum how to do that here i'll write int result is equal to okay result number is equal to result number is equal to 0 i'll say now i'll write the while loop saying okay while again original number uh, again i'll do one thing guys uh, this time i'll again assign the original number is equal to n again i'll assign that to n okay after finding the number of digits again i'll assign the original number with this particular n value that is 153 so or you can create one more variable also if you want okay so if you don't want to take the same one int o n is equal to original number is equal to n you can say okay so o n while o n original number is not equal to not equal to zero again you go with the same logic again you are going with the same logic guys this time you will do in a different way that is uh, you don't have to count it simply say original number is equal to Okay, on is equal to on divided by 10, I'll say. on divided by 10. Here, originally, what is there? 153 is there. Instead of dividing, we use modulus here to get the reminder. on modulus 10. 153 modulus 10 means the reminder 3 will come. The reminder 3 will come. Because after dividing the 153 by 10, the reminder uh, 10, you know, 10, 5, the 150 or something. Uh, I like, uh, you know. 10 into 15 times 150 and reminder will be 3, right? That 3 will go into ON. Actually, it's not going. Uh, this 3 uh, here I have to say as a reminder, guys. Okay, it's not ON actually, it is a reminder. So here I will say int R. Int R means int reminder. Int R. R is equal to what will be the R? 153 modulus 10 means 3 will be the R. Okay, now what I will do here is here I will try to get the here, I'll try to do something like this. Here, result is what? Result number. Result number is equal to result number plus result number is already zero, guys. Okay, result number is equal to result number plus. What is the digit we got? What is the reminder we got? R. R into R multiplied by R multiplied by R is a reminder, 3 multiplied by, how many times we have to multiply the 3 guys? R into this many times, that is number of digit times, R into R into R. To make that happen, instead of saying R, right, here I will write R. Otherwise, I will write some method like this, okay? In mathematics, there will be some method here, math dot power, we have to find the method which can power the power of, okay? So, is there anything power? Okay, I'll take this power. Power original number is what? Uh, original, uh, this particular number is what? The reminder. Reminder need to be multiplied by how many times? Reminder should be multiplied by how many times? Reminder should be multiplied by number of digits. So, D I'll give. So, what is the problem here? Math dot uh, power. Int result. Math power. Cannot convert from double to Okay, this is not coming, so I'll write down one more method, math dot something. You should find a method here using which we can find the power of math dot power double is there, random is there, round off is there. Uh, where is that method, guys? Let me find the method here, abs, abs. Or we have to write in a logic way, but uh, exponential, no. There should be two parameters actually. I'll try to find out, just give me a second. Max, minimum, multiply. Next after, power is there here. Next up, next down, sign in, square root, subtract radius 
we have to find that guys multiply there should be some method for this let me check any solutions here the logic is almost there but we need to find the power of that particular digit number so java finding power of a number using math method let's see what it will come math class there will be a predefined method guys i don't remember that just math dot power is a method they are saying but uh, it's coming as double right double result is coming that's a problem so we have used power but uh, it's coming as uh, base comma exponent that's fine but the result is here instead of uh, r right we'll say double here and we'll type cache it later for now for now uh, yeah yeah sorry int only here result is double i'll say for now result is equal to math dot power of or we can also do one thing int uh, result we'll say and here we have typecast we'll typecast that into int type okay we'll typecast and into int type so that it will take it power math dot pow of here we have to give the reminder that is three r i'll give and after r we have to give the d here digits number of digits we have to multiply this r the number of digit times okay like this we can write the logic and after the double result will come that i am going converting into integer type and, and adding with the result number and that result number will be updated and after this part is done after this part is done i have to say original number is equal to on divided by 10. so in the next iteration 153 will become 153 divided by 10 will become 15 so 15 is not equal to 0 again we'll go here 15 modulus 10 what will be the reminder guys 5 will be the reminder so r will become 5 so in the earlier result, it was 3 into 3 into 3, three uh, 0 plus 3 multiplied by 3, 3 times. 3, 3 is the 9, 9, 3 is the 27. 27 was the earlier result. 27 plus, the result will be 0 plus 27, 27 was there. Now 27 plus, here math dot power of r is coming as 5, 5 power 3. Number of digits has come as 3. 5 into 5 into 5, that is 125. Okay. So 27 plus 125, that is, uh, it will become how much, guys? 152. 152 will be the result. 152 will go into the result number. And uh, again, okay, in the next uh, 152 here. Again, what happened in the third iteration? Uh, original number 15 divided by 10 will happen. That 1 will be going here. 1 not equal to 0. True again. 1 modulus 10 means reminder will be 1. And here result number is what? 152. 152 plus math dot power of reminder is 1. 1 should be multiplied by itself 3 times. 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. So here 152 plus 1 will become 153. The result is 153 will go into the result number. And ON will become 1 divided by 10. 1 divided by 10. How many times you can divide the 1 by 10? 0 times. 0 not equal to 0 will become false and will come out of the while loop. And result number, by the time you come out of the while loop, the result number will be 153. The result number will be 153 and the original number is n, okay, original number is n, okay. So here I will simply write down, okay, I will simply write down. So this kind of logic we have to write guys, otherwise you cannot get it. If, if the n, original number n, whatever that is passed is double equal to this result number, if it, that, if it is double equal to result number, then return true. That means it is an Armstrong number. Else, return what? False. So I don't have to return anything here. You can just close it. Okay. If else conditions in the Boolean. So like this, we can write the logic, guys. Okay. Original number, you can take it two times and you can, you can do that like this, something like this. N is the original number. Just for this operation, you are going to use this temporary original number. Okay. You can say TON, temporary original number if you want. Temporary original number, temporary original number, temporary original number. Okay, again, here also you can say temporary original number is equal to n again. You don't have to declare again, already it is declared here, but again you are assigning the original number here. Okay, so you can say on here, on original number, on means original number, or you can also write original, original number. Okay, you can also write original number and assign that original number here. This will be more easy. So, here again assign the original number, ton, temporary original number, temporary original number. I have to write instead of on, I'll write temporary original number, temp original number, 
an original number. Okay, like this, you can write the logic. And if this original number, now you can write the code like this. If original number is equal to the result number, then return true, otherwise return false. So if you run this code, uh, this program will print out whether the given number is a hamstrung number or not. So run this code, right click run as Java application. You can take a screenshot of this scanner, main method having the scanner code. Okay, meanwhile. So here, if I give 123, not an Armstrong number. Okay, it's not an Armstrong number, it is saying. Now, if I run this code and if I give 153 this time, 153 is an Armstrong number, right? If I run the code again, right click run as Java application, enter any number will come. 153 I'll type. 153 is an Armstrong number. You see, Armstrong number is coming. That means the program is working fine. You can take a screenshot of this code and I'll scroll down now after you have taken the screenshot. Now scroll down and I'll uh, I'll give you the code of this. Okay. Okay, it's very big code actually. Okay, almost there. You can take the screenshot of this code, guys. You can take the screenshot of this code. Okay. So this is a reusable method which will find out whether the end given password number is an Armstrong number or not. Okay, from the main method by collecting the input from the user, we are passing to the method uh, the Armstrong number. That Armstrong number is an original uh, that whatever number that is the original number is an Armstrong or not. We'll find out by writing this logic. First, we have to find how many digits are there in the number by giving D and D plus plus. D will give you the number of digits. And after that, after finding the number of digits uh, to see whether that is an Armstrong number or not, uh, we have to dismantle all the digits of the number and uh, multiply that every digit with the number of digits of that number. Okay. So in that 153, we'll take the reminder three and uh, three into three into three, three digits, right? Three into three into three, 27. Okay. That will store it to zero plus 27, 27 will come. Later we'll divide that 153 by 10 and 115 will come, 15 not equal to zero. Here reminder will come as uh, five. Again, result is 27 plus five into five into five, three times. 5 power 3 means 5 into 5 into 5. We have this method. You have to typecast that into into type. Other we are getting error. So 125 plus 27, 152 will come. And finally, the remaining number 1 will, uh, like uh, after dividing 15 by 10, 1 will be there and 1 not equal to 0. The remainder will come as 1. And result is, uh, result number is 152 earlier result. Plus 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. 152 plus 1 is 153. The result number has become 153. And when you try to divide the number one by 10, zero will come. Zero is not equal to zero will be false. We'll come out of here. We have separated each and every digit of the number and made sure that each and every number is multiplied three uh, number of times. The number of digits are there and added to the resultant number. Okay. And finally, the original number and resultant number are compared here using double equal to symbol to find out whether that is a, if it is equal, if the original number is equal to the resultant number after this operation, then that number is an Armstrong number. Otherwise, it's not an Armstrong number. So that's how we have written the logic, guys. That's how we have written the logic. So hope you got the idea of how to write the programming logic for finding out whether the or checking whether the given number is an Armstrong number or not in Java programs. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.